Welcome back to episode 86 and for something different. So in last week's video you saw me doing the uh, the mixture. We had the car running, uh, revving up really high uh, and trying to get the mixture sorted. Now I'm pretty sure there's still one cylinder not firing. I thought it was cylinder 5, I tracked it down but um, I've been through everything and I actually think that's, if that is firing. I, do, I need to do a bit more work on it. That'll be coming up probably next week. <clears throat> this week's video we're going to do something different. I'm going to have a look at the windows. Uh, it's constantly uh, a problem about getting locked in this car. So uh, that's the focus today, windows. Get the windows winding up and down. If I can do that, I'd be really happy. Anyway, um, if you enjoy these videos, please remember to click the like button, click the subscribe button. There's a lot of videos back there now, I think. Uh, what did I say? This is episode 86, so there's 85 videos sitting behind this one that you could go back and watch. Uh, please go back and watch them uh, and leave me comments. The comments uh, keep me amused, steer me, tell me what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right. Uh, I really uh, value those comments, so please do leave comments. Uh, anyway, let's get in there and see how I get on this week. One of the things that constantly bothers me is that the windows are up and I've got no way of winding them down. The door lock seems dodgy and I've been locked in the car uh, a couple of times now. So um, I thought I'd take the door card off, have a look, check with the electric motor uh, in the window works. Um, I know the switches are a little bit dubious over here. Oops. Uh, these are a little bit all over the place. But I should be able to get a handle on whether the actual motor is working, which I think is just there. Um, but also, I'm curious about these door cards. So I want to see what the damage is from where someone's cut the speaker in. Try and work out what to do with that. Uh, and also there's more evidence there of this being a tan coloured door as well. Uh, so I might just sort of investigate whether that will just peel off or what. Um, the door card generally doesn't look too bad. I mean, you're probably wincing looking at it, but it needs a little bit of reshaping where it's bowed a bit here uh, and across there. But I, I'm relatively confident I can do that. The actual carpet looks fine. Um, structurally, it's fine. It just sort of needs a little bit of TLC, I think. That's the motor actually inside the door, if I just zoom you in that a little bit. Um, and I've just moved the original connector sort of behind the terminals. So it's got these two terminals here, and then you can see there's another set of terminals behind. I've not connected to those, I've, I've just maintained these two because, I mean, they're super shiny, so they've been used. Um, but I'm not getting any joy, so I am starting to wonder what's going on. But it seems the only thing I can do here is, and I've got the window down now, you'll see, is to actually undo the bolts for the motor. So I've undone the two that were, where are they? Here, these two, uh, and one on here. That allows the entire mechanism to rotate, which uh, I can probably just lift up and down a little bit. You can see. Oh, I can't do it one-handed, actually. Well, I can push it down a little bit further. But that allows the motor to sort of rotate up here, and it exposes the bolts that hold the motor on. So I'm just undoing those now. Then we can take the motor out, get it on the bench and just see what it's doing, but I suspect it's probably broken. Right, so with the motor on the bench and just trying to turn it, that is absolutely, oh, okay, no, it's not. <laughs> I was gonna say it's absolutely frozen solid. No, it's not, it's the gearing inside, isn't it? But it doesn't do anything. If I just drag the battery back, we can quickly uh, connect it up again. So I could have done this a little bit earlier, I guess, but let's quickly do it now. Um, so that's connected up onto the battery, nothing at all. Not a sausage. So there's something clearly not quite right. Um, I think we'll just buzz it open quickly and have a look. Why not, hey? Why not? Right, so we can see inside it a little bit. <clears throat> so the motor turns. <clears throat> yeah, so it does all work. So what else could be wrong here? And now we actually look, these two connectors are connected to each other. So it's not a matter of getting the right one. So again, let's have a look. Let's connect it up, see what it does. There really shouldn't be anything particularly difficult here. Nothing. 
nothing, nothing. So it's possible, I'm just looking inside at the brushes to see what's in there. Brushes look good. Uh, I think what it needs is me to shine a torch in so I can really see uh, exactly what's going on inside there. But on the face of it, while it's grubby, it does appear to be all present and correct. It is very, very grubby in there though. Uh, it might just need a little bit of cleaning. I can see there's a lot of gunk on the connectors there, on the contacts. So I've just been going over the, uh, the motor contacts with electrical cleaner. Now I, I've run out of cotton bud so I can't do exactly as I'd like to which is sort of cotton bud it but I can get quite a lot of the you know, grime off like this with the tissue um, and I can you know there's definitely quite a lot of grime in there um, yeah, I wish I had something a little bit better but this is you know it's doing a job for the, for the moment um, you can see they're generally getting better. That one is a bit grubby, but okay. And um, I've used a uh, brick cleaner just to spray out this and collect up all of this murky muck. Uh, obviously, some of that's grease that I need in there, but um, I don't need it there for now. Right, so let's try this and just see what we've got. Let's see where we are. Put it on there. Uh, this has got a fuse on it, it's just a little bit cobbled together, but it has got a fuse on it. Uh, I'm on the wrong connectors, aren't I? Oh, it doesn't matter. So not a lot going on. Let's check. Ah! Haha! <laughs> okay, so they look like they're the same, well they are the same piece, but I don't know why that's not working. Okay. So that is indeed working now. not why is that okay so clearly there is some contact problem going on in there I think what I'll do then I will endeavor to get some cotton buds and just work on each of these little contacts it is uh, that must be what the problem is and uh, I need to reapply some grease up here just to make sure that it doesn't all get uh, gunked up I still don't know what the plastic bits in there are the little rubber bits but that doesn't matter for now Right, I've given it a good clean, a good testing. Uh, I went a little bit further on the contacts and just sort of uh, used a bit of emery on them, just got them all the sort of tarnish off, so they should be really good now. Um, and I was gonna quickly do the casing up. I've lubricated it all, don't wanna do it too tight. Um, we'll just get it all back together and we'll put it back in the car. Right, let's just check putting it back together hasn't done anything, which you can't see that it would have done. Um, perfect. Quite pleased with that. Also clean this up a little bit as well. Um, so let's get that back on the car and check it puts the window up and down. Right then, uh, I appreciate it's a little bit hard to see what's going on, but hopefully you can see enough. Um, I couldn't film putting the motor back in because there's not a lot of space to be totally honest and uh, it, was, <laughs> it w wasn't that hard. There's a couple of bolts and you just put them in. Uh, anyway, so the battery's in. Uh, I have tested it already just to check it did something before click and record. Uh, but let's put the window up. And we can take the window down if I just swap these over. And that all works okay. Uh, don't take it too far down. It needs a bit of... Um, uh, lubricant inside there, like grease and stuff, I'm sure, on the, on the runner. But it does work, which is great. That's all I was after, really, the ability to put the windows up and down uh, and sort of, you know, basically confirm that the motor still works. It's quite nice, really. I can see a load of white paint on there where the, uh, the lazy buggers that sprayed the car, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> well, for whatever reason, whether the window's up or down, um, I assume that's not visible, but clearly there's a big wad of white paint on the on the glass. Anyway, that's another tick in the right direction. I do need to replace all of these uh, window runners. If anyone knows about those, let me know. Uh, I know they're a little bit more complicated than, than just buying any off the shelf. 
uh, Porsche have their own certain ones, but perhaps there's some alternative ones. But well, or if you know where I can get them, let me know. Right, finally the new window switches have arrived. The original ones, all in pieces. Uh, there's nothing I could really do to save those. I'm sure you can see inside that. It's just, there's all bits missing. Um, so I've just been checking that they fit. Um, and I've actually fitted one off camera naughtily. It's pretty straightforward. The wire goes down here um, and plugs into a connector up underneath there. It's a bit dark to see. But what uh, I'm not happy with is this uh, surround here. So what I'm going to do is take this central console out. So I can have a proper look, see what I do with this thing, see if it needs tidying up or um, if it actually comes away and perhaps get it uh, coat, powder coated or replaced or whatever needs to happen with it. It's really, you can hear it's actually quite rusty for some reason, uh, like the rest of the car I guess. Um, and I need to work out how these fit in neatly and then what goes here. Um, I, I'm guessing that this is actually the original surround that's been sort of gnawn, gnawed away at and cut to fit uh, this this sort of alarm thing that was in there. And um, there was probably a sunroof and then I don't know what the other switch does. Let me know, obviously. Um, so that's the project at the moment. Uh, what I have done though, so I've wired this one up and that does actually work and wind the windows up and down, which is really cool. I now need to take the other door panel off, get that off. Um, well, I suppose I don't actually need to take it off at the moment. If I just swap the switch over, we just check whether the electrics work. Uh, that would probably do for now, actually. Uh, maybe I'll do that and then I can get a steer on whether the motor's working. If it's not working, I'll have all the door off and we'll sort of uh, repair the motor, like we did with the driver's side. Right, maybe semi-useful. I can at least show you where uh, how the window stuff happens. So this is the connector for the passenger side window. Um, and all we need to do, if I just pick you up, you're down in the driver's footwell at the moment. Um, so it is a little dark in here now. It's just pull it out. Basically, uh, it's got stuck, but you can imagine the rest. Uh, and that leaves these, so we've got a red and a green. Red is the driver's side, this is the passenger side. And I think what I'll do, I could pull... Okay, let's not, let's not do that. I was going to say, I can probably just plug the green into the red. Uh, and check that the windows work, but um, let's not do that. I'll wire up the other switch into the um, correct connector and we can do that properly. So now all I need to do is untangle it from there. Right, and the rewiring this is not particularly sophisticated. You just stuff a screwdriver down uh, inside here and pull the wire out. And then what I've been doing, if I can get that one to come out and show you, one, as I'm doing it, I'm feeding the correct colour back in so I don't mix them up, uh, which seems like the sensible thing to do. So red, it just clicks straight back inside. Right, so I've rewired the plug. I'm hoping I can get that just to slide in there um, and we can do a quick test on the lights. So, oh, I think that's in. So let's try, let me move you so you can see. Let's pick it up gently. It's very dark in the car. Let me see if I can get a light up for you. Right, so ignition on. <laughs> not, not a sausage. Nothing at all. Let's try the other light, uh, other windows. So that's this one. Okay, so nothing there either. So it's possible. Let's. I know this one. Oh, I've unplugged it, so this one is going to work either. Let me plug the original back in. Okay, no, with that uh, plugged in nicely, no, no action from the window. So I think what we're going to need to do is take the uh, the door panel off, It'll give you a bit of light. It's actually lighter in the car than it appears here. Um, I think we'll take the door panel off and have a look at the motor, just check it's all connected up, and if not, we'll take it out, have a look at it. Right, after a little bit of fighting, the door card's ready to come off. Um, it's pretty straightforward, really. There's a couple of bolts down here. I think there's one in here somewhere. One on the other side. Um, and then uh, this, there's a bolt comes out of here. A screw actually is in there. And then this sort of spins off. And now the whole door card, it should be held on by poppers, of course. But those are probably long disintegrated. So um, I want all this off. Obviously, I'm going to recolour some things, going to reshape it. It's sort of a bit warped at the bottom here, so that needs repairing. 
across the tops is a little bit suspect. Uh, and obviously it's got these big speakers cut in, which are a bit of a shame, really. But we'll work out what to do with those. I don't know what I can do, short of buying new leather. Um, it's always going to be a compromise, so I'm going to have to just see what we do with this. Uh, but let's get the door card fully off, get it out of the car, and then we can get to this uh, windscreen. Oh, sorry, the window winding motor. It just doesn't seem to work, so if I get enough light on it, we can uh, quickly whip it out. Get it on the bench and see what's wrong with it. Um, I'm just looking for where I've put my socket set. <clears throat> it's a problem working in a car with no room. Uh, so I have to grub around for things. Right. We are all go. Let's check if I've got this one that way. One out, and you notice the addition of an impact driver. Um, a friend gave it to me, which is very kind of him. Uh, it <laughs> revolutionised my life, I'd say. Uh, it makes it so much easier, so much quicker. Uh, I don't use it that often, but um, things like this, just buzzing out a bolt, it's really cool. Um, so here, I can't remember which ones I need. I think it's just that one undone. I'm not sure it's even on screen. I think there's one more bolt that I need to undo. Um, I'm just trying to decide without getting my fingers trapped in the door. Uh, yeah, clearly there's a little bit more to do. Okay, I'm gonna go get a couple of tools just to get that, because that's an Allen key. Um, I'll get the, the motor out and then we'll get it on the bench and I'll, uh, I'll show you what, it, what it's doing. Right, I've managed to free the motor up and it works. And um, pretty reasonably actually. Uh, so I don't know whether it was just, um, maybe it wasn't plugged in properly. I did waggle the wires around quite a bit, uh, but it didn't work while it was in the, in the thing. Or whether it was just seized up for some reason. Uh, but it's working now. I'm gonna take it to the bench anyway and just take it apart, quickly oil it or grease it. Um, and put it back together. Just You can take the back off the gearing here uh, and it seems like the wise thing to do while it's out. Uh, but that'll go back in and then we've got windows working again. Right, so with the motor back in, we have a working window. A noisy window, but a working window. And there will see all the bits. And it sort of labours its way back up, but it does work. It's so bad. <laughs> it really is noisy. Um, it's fine. Probably at some point I may need a new motor there, but for the moment I just want it so the window goes up and down. That's fine. Uh, and I need the panel off anyway so I can do my bit of repair with it. But at least we know the electrics work, which is the main issue here. And it does work. So let's leave that part down. Uh, great. Okay, so that's that pretty much wrapped up for the moment. Right, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, I'm so pleased how those windows are going up and down, actually proving that the window motors still work. Uh, and it's actually really good to get those door cards off. I can start thinking about whether I need to recolor them, retrim them, uh, what to do with those speaker holes. <laughs> Why would someone cut holes in them uh, beyond me? And uh, actually sort of reinforce them because on one of them, uh, it's sort of so the passenger side is starting to break at the bottom. And I want to look at how I do that, whether I can get some kind of like a glue mixture to uh, soak into the material or into the cardboard effectively and uh, dry and sort of set like a resin. Uh, if you know what to do with that, please leave me a comment. I've seen some things online about it, um, but quite happy. I mean, it's quite a short, short piece of work, but uh, it's an important piece of work. Being able to get out the car when it, the door locks is really key, vital. Um, anyway, I'm rambling as ever. Uh, thank you as ever for watching, uh, click that like button, subscribe, leave me comments and I'll see you next week.